What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. Y'all are tuning in to Pop Austin Media. And What's we up? got Chris Jeremiah in the Arch- building. Archbishop Jeffrey. Oh, he's got he's Chris in his Jeremiah alter ego right today. He's not here right now. He he in the auction block. Hey. Well, we going to get into that a little bit later, though. We going to start off in the beginning. Yeah. So where are you originally from? I'm from uh, I'm from Israel. Wait, wait, wait. You have to hold on. Are we doing Archbishop? And who am I interviewing? Archbishop Jeffrey. You feel me? If you want to know where Chris Jeremiah from, we made him. He he from a laboratory. We made him. He's alien. He's like a. He belongs on X Men. Yeah, yeah. That's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna come out blue and like all beefy and like twelve feet tall. Well, we still cool. we still we still he we still have a prototype making right now. So we'll decide what he, what he makes. You wanna you wanna uh put a bid up? His bid is at seventy six million right now. I don't um, smoke. no, I don't do betting. I'm not a gambler. Okay. Well. Unless it's a little me, like a clone, and someone's trying to clone me, I think that would be dope. I would want a me. Okay. I don't want no one else. I'd be scared. Have you not seen iRobot? I have. We make them. We have them right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I watch them on TikTok. Yeah, that shit looks realistic. So, what do you? Th- how long do we you think? We it's don't gonna... watch it on movies. We have it in our, you know, at our headquarters. We'll release them soon. Oh, you're deep. You know. <laughs> dope, dope, dope. So, how did Chris Jeremiah get into music? Well, you know, we just we just need we just gotta. We have certain shit we gotta push, you know? We trying to mm-hmm. make some money out here and we see what everybody likes. So he's just like our, you know, he's like, he's just the forefront of everything pretty much. So we don't get blamed for everything he does, you know? Mm-hmm. We're just gonna put everything on him. But really we pulling all the strings though. Okay. He's just at the forefront, you know? Okay. Yeah. So what do you think about the Austin music scene? Austin music scene, I don't really see much to be honest. I just kind of pay attention to myself. Shout out to Quinn and the fan, though. He's mm-hmm. going crazy. You know? Yeah, I'm shout out Quinn. Fan. Turning up for ATX. Yeah. So, does Chris Jeremiah have any inspirations? Chris Jeremiah, he fucked with Kanye West. You know, the whole Chicago scene. You know, our, our headquarters in Chicago and Fort Worth, you know. So, we made him in two laboratories in you know, Chicago and Fort Worth, you know. So, yeah, he put uh, inspirations from both of those scenes. You know, mm-hmm. the Mo3s, Go Yayos, you know, Lil Dirts, Common, mm-hmm. Kanye, you know, all those people. Nice. And did you play any sports growing up? I played tennis. Really? But Chris Jeremiah, you know, oh he goodness. ran track, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love tennis, though. I love tennis. You like tennis? I do like tennis sometimes. So that, that should be hurting your arms. I'll be like, I don't know if I'm, I'm a leg person. I'll we're play gonna, soccer. Okay, we're gonna get you some bionic arms. You know, you just oh. wearing yourself out. You know, Hell nah. I'm not gonna be like those Black Mirror people who are living in the in the little the metaverse. I don't know about all that. Mm-mm. Well, you know, we'll just we'll just. I'll leave that to y'all in y'all's laboratories. Okay. But me, I'm gonna live in the real world. <laughs> you don't. You don't even have to. You don't. You don't have to put any machines in you. You know. What we can do is we can just kill some more black people and we'll give you a black oh arm, God. you know. Nah. We use their parts. That's that's for another. <laughs> that's for another, you know. But yeah, uh, what was the question though? We'll what go to the next question. Me? So, what are Chris Jeremiah's vibes like in the studio? Vibes, you know. Sober, not sober. Well, we made him in a laboratory. We we have words, you know, coming from every artist, certain sounds, you know. It's AI generated. Mm-hmm. So we just pump it all into his brain and it just, you know. So is there like out. some dopamine, you know, some like, you know, THC going in there? No, nah, no, nah, Ain't nah, no nah. high robots? No, 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 no. Well, no I'm robots. not with that. Dang. We need to be having them. I'm not going to, especially if I'm going to get a robot, mm-mm, that, you have to smoke with me. I don't trust you. That's well, how I feel. I mean, so do you, would you like one? Would you like a robot? Not if it doesn't smoke with me. What? Okay, yeah, we can't have Yeah, that. you see need a real company. If we're not at the same, mm-mm. Not True. feeling that. Oh, wait. We got to make sure we get the shoes. We got to make sure we get the shoes. You got to pick them up. Oh, you know, we own this as well. 
Nike. And we own that as well. Thank you. Got the forces. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gotta, Gotta put the shoe on. So, how was your gang popping music video? The gang popping music video? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you know, that's not even a real person, to be honest. That's just a, that's just AI, you know? It's just AI fully. You know how it's like Hollywood. It's not real. It's just, we just use that for entertainment, you know? Entertainment purposes. Entertainment purposes. Who's the videographer that you guys use for that? The videographer? You know K Fresco? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out K Fresco. Yeah. Turn up, turn up. Yeah, he's fire. K Fresco, shout out. He does a lot of videos for Chris Jeremiah. Nice. Yeah, shout out K Fresco. So the Said Deadly Sins album dropped on the 7th. Can you tell me more about that? Seven Deadly Sins album? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Get into it. So, we, we, you know, we have a plan. We, we, we have a plan, and that's what this album is about. We have a plan, you know. We can't speak on the plan because we, sp we think in hundred year decibels, you know. So a lot of shit that we're trying to plan out is gonna happen maybe a century from now, but it will get there. We're making progress, you know. And this album is, this album is, it's like the, it's like the beginning of it, you know. Yeah. So what's the message of this first album? The message is everything we want, we want from the people. It's so it's to their like own interpretation? Cause yeah. you know me, I'm like, I'm looking at song titles and I'm like, wait. No, nah, it's not their own order? interpretation. It's what, it's our interpretation. Okay. It's to feed us, you know? I see, I see. Yeah. It's not their interpretation. That. They don't get that privilege. So what do you think about the whole Kanye situation, everything that's going on with the the Chance video? I know they took it down. Oh, he's, he's a, can we curse on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a fuck nigga. Like, like, we want all smoke and we own everything. We own this country he's in. Like, like, who does he think, who does Kanye think he is? Who does he think, man? Uh, yeah. Who does he think? As a yeah, Jew. how do you feel as a I Jew? Feel, I feel liberated at the end of the day. You know? I'm flattered. I'm flattered he even thinks he has a chance against us. I'm flattered. Mm -hmm. You know? But he's a, he's an interesting individual. You know? Are y'all going to try and sue him back? We don't have to sue him. We just take it. Oof. There it is. Yeah, we, we own it. The shoes he, he makes, we own that. The, the factories he makes them in, we own it. Mm. Yeah. The people that's working in those factories to make those shoes from him, we can fire them now if we want. Mm. How did you guys come into power? How did we come into power? Ugh, opportunity. I want to play you guys a, a, a little clip. I'm going to play you guys a little clip. Let's see. I got a question, too. Yeah. How, how was you able to get the, the Jew as a Jew, the, the white face and the the really tanned arms. Yeah, well, you know. If y'all didn't hear Jed, he like asked I, him, "How did he get?" The retarded question. Keep going. <laughs> like, I, like, I like I said, you know, our plot is to, you know, we like to live longer. Mm -hmm. You know, if you ever see us, we we live to a, a, a quite long age. We mm -hmm. we kill off a lot of black people and then we use their body parts. And so, you know, this is this is what I just offered you earlier. If you the want a black arm, arm to play play tennis, we can get you one too. Tang. Yeah. But what was the question again? Pardon me. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, yeah nice. Right. Yeah, the clip. We're gonna play a clip real, really quick. Hold on. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So first is this fuck nigga Kanye, who thinks he has. Come on, man. And this will. Um, who asked me about how we got rich? This will fall back on the opportunity we have. We we get up. We, we capitalize on opportunity, you know. I talked about Rick Rubin. Cap, heavy on the cap, heavy on the cap. Talked about the 808. The Cypress is real. Now, now I'm gonna say some anti-Semitic shit. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. I'm gonna kill this nigga. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. I'm gonna kill this nigga. I'm gonna fuck your bitch. I'm gonna kill.
kill this nigga. I'ma fuck your bitch. I'ma kill this nigga. That's the real anti-Semitic shit that the Jewish people get paid off of. This next, this next video is my brother-in-law. His name is Leor Cohen. You may know him. He's global head of YouTube music. I actually own that. I actually appointed him to that position. Yeah. Um, he also is, uh, he also ran 30, 300 Entertainment. Signed Young Thug. You know, we made, we had him as a handler for Young Thug. We made him chariot him around to all his interviews, watch what he says, you know? Mm hmm So... This is my brother-in-law, Lior Cohen, who's a Jewish label exec. I don't know what's this opioid thing, man. Is Our it's been a, that's, that's, that's how, how we got rich. Being what? a crackhead wasn't cool. Now it's, it, it seems like they're, they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup. And it's the most dangerous, it's the most dangerous thing and... that's facing um, um, our society. Are you so, so why sign an artist that would promote that? Um, b because I, I, I already answered that question. You weren't paying attention. Um, she asked me talent or issues and I said talent, but I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. I don't think that's hypocritical though. You're, you're saying um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got people to feed. <laughs> um, oh, I got a, Leo. I got a, I got a business to run. You're going to make Dame Dash take this clip. You know opportunity that's all it falls down to mm -hmm. that's so how you got rich what part did y'all play in young thug and everything that's going on with him oh yeah young thug yeah what part did we play in his in his come up mm -hmm. well in his come up and with him dealing with the whole racketeering situation and him being in jail too he'll be he's okay he's okay he's, is he coming out yeah he'll be home Okay. We need him. How soon? We need him out here. Okay. Polluting our minds. We need him. Polluting our minds. Yeah. For Young Thug. And Gunna. And <laughs> let's not forget about Gunna. They're just in they're just in our at our headquarters. They'll be they'll be okay. Yeah, they're not even in jail. Playing with us. No, they're in jail. So are y'all playing with us? Y'all just playing with our minds. Exactly. Mm. We'll be he'll be okay. Entertainment. Nice. So with Halloween coming up, does Chris Jeremiah have an idea of who he's going to be or dress up as? Who are y'all dressing up as is a second question. We haven't really decided what he'll be yet. We, we, we might make him a woman. We might dress him up and, you know, I'm sorry. I get, I get kind of when I just think about it. How do you feel about Lil Nas X? Well, <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> thank you. You know, Lil Nas X. He was, you know, he came out of nowhere. We didn't, we didn't make him. You know, he's just, he was a blessing. You know, he was just a blessing. But back to Chris Jeremiah, we're going to we're yeah we're we're thinking about making him beautiful. You know, we're gonna put him in a nice sundress. Mm. You know, he nice, doesn't like a sundress. Nice lace front. You know, mm. I can already see it now. It'll be great. With It'll the blonde wig, of course. Got to. No, nah, pink. 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 Ooh, yes. that Nicki Minaj vibes. Yes, exactly. All right, so how does Chris Jeremiah think he's going to spend at the end of 2022? Think he's gonna spend? What do you yeah, like me? music wise, oh, yeah. events, um, just just anything. Chris Jeremiah doesn't he's not real. He he doesn't show up anywhere, you know. But if you're looking for him, you know, you'll find him in a music video, you know. But he won't be anywhere around you guys. He's like In the shadows. No, he's not in the shadows, he's in the lab. Yes, exactly. He's in the charging. Lab right I'll go charging. Nice. Where can they find um, Chris Jeremiah and his alter egos and everything on Instagram? Instagram. Uh, we're still we're still getting those things together, but you can find him on Instagram at Chris Jeremiah. C H R I S J E R I M I A H. 
Nice. Is there any last words that the Archbishop wants to wants to talk about? Let us know. Hmm. We would like to, you know, thank Kanye. You know, we just we we really we really hated him at the beginning. We never wanted to work with him, you know. So we want to thank him for sabotaging his relationships with us because we don't like them anyways. So we don't want to work with them. They're, you know. So, yeah, fuck Kanye West. Uh, Who are you guys taking down next? Who are we taking down next? That's a good question. Who are we taking down next? I would like to take down... We're going to take down Nicki Minaj, you know. We don't like how, we don't like how anybody, we don't like her, you know. She, she questions our decisions and we're not to be questioned. You know, we're like God. You don't question God's decisions. You just, we work in mysterious ways. Don't question us. So Nicki Minaj has to go, um... Soon NBA young boy as well, hmm. because he didn't sign back to us. Oof. So we're gonna get rid of him as well soon. Around 27, 28. You know, we're gonna let him make it a few more years. Dang. Yeah. What about um little baby? Little baby. Oh no, he's perfect for us. He's okay. Perfect. He follows us just well. He does what he's told. He's, you know, he's perfect for the media. He makes us more money. He talks. He he shouts out all of our um. All of our designer brands, we own that as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't wear any of those things, by the way. We don't. We we wear, we wear sweaters. You guys do though. We don't wear it. Watch out! Don't wear your chains. You got to be like the industry peeps. <laughs> yeah, he 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 shows us white lives do matter though. That's why we like Little Baby and the, all the other rappers. He shows us white lives do matter because they shout out all of our brands they 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 talk about how many you know people they've killed not how many of us they've killed how many black people they've killed so you know that's perfect obviously we do matter you know so yeah how do you feel about trump 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 is he's interesting you know we had big plans for him and he 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 kind of just went off went off base you know but he's he'll always be one of ours though because he has white skin he'll always be one of us you know only we only we can crucify him we do we keep that in the family we know we're not gonna you know let the the i don't know what you got npcs know what he is you know you guys are here are npcs by the way we we've made everything you like we own this station. We own everything in here, by the way. Mm-hmm. It probably isn't even real. Thank you for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you remember this later. <laughs> Dope. Well, we appreciate y'all tuning in to Pop Austin Media. I'm TJ the DJ, and this is Archbishop Jeffrey. Jeffrey, and also AKA. We got some information about Chris Jeremiah. Make sure you guys <laughs> make sure you guys buy a YouTube membership, by the way. You none of you subscribe to YouTube. You know, we have a lot of new features coming, you know. Background play, no ads, you know. Make sure you guys do that. Mm-hmm. And subscribe to Pop Boston Media. All right. And we'll see y'all next time. We out. Thanks for tuning in to our latest interview. Make sure y'all check out the Pop Austin Media page. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.